Welcome to the Hawaii Department of Health Clean Water Branch e-permitting portal electronic signature tutorial video. This video will provide instructions on how to submit forms electronically through the Environmental Health Administration e-permitting portal. This video will provide instructions on how to complete the following. Access the e-permitting portal. Complete the e-permitting portal registration process. Submit the electronic subscriber agreement form. Prepare a submission through the e-permitting portal with an example. Certify and submit a submission through the e-permitting portal. To access the e-permitting portal, please follow these instructions. In the web browser, type in the following website address to access the portal directly or select e-permitting portal from the menu on the right-hand side of the Clean Water Branch website located at the website address listed here. This leads to the e-permitting portal. For first-time e-permitting portal users, please follow these instructions. An e-permitting portal account is required to access forms. A one-time account registration is required. Information, including an email address, will be required to register. Once all information is provided, a verification email will be sent to the provided email address. Once the verification code in the email is entered, the account will be activated. Please note that this does not authorize the account for electronic signature use. This only allows the account to access e-permitting portal forms. In the e-permitting portal, select the register tab from the top menu. This will open the Create User Profile page. Fill in the information to complete the user profile. Click Save when done. A verification email will be sent to the provided email address. Be sure to check any junk mail folders for the verification email. Contact the web administrator at this email address if there are any problems with the verification email. Enter the confirmation code and click Confirm Email. This will complete registration of the e-permitting portal account. To complete the Electronic Subscriber Agreement, or ESA form, please follow these instructions. An ESA form must be downloaded, filled out properly, notarized, and mailed to DOH to authorize the account for electronic signatures form use. Only individuals who will be electronically signing will need to submit this form. The email address provided on the form must be the same email address used for the e-permitting portal system account. Please note when completing the form that the address provided must be a street address. Post office boxes are not allowed. Once the notarized ESA form is approved, a notification email will be sent. The account will be authorized to electronically submit forms and reports using the e-permitting portal system after setting up security questions for the account. The electronic signature will have the same legal force as an actual handwritten signature. Who needs to submit an ESA form? 
there are two types of individuals who can sign submissions to the CWB, the certifying person and the authorized representative. Requirements for the certifying person are in Hawaii Administrative Rules Section 1155-7A. Requirements for the authorized representative are in Hawaii Administrative Rules Section 1155-7B. If an individual will not be the certifying person or authorized representative for any projects, they will not submit an ESA form. Each submission has defined signatory requirements. Please be sure to read the form carefully when determining who electronically signs the submission. In the ePermitting Portal homepage, select Form Finder from the menu on the left-hand side. Or select the Finder tab from the top menu. Search for and select the Electronic Signature Subscriber Agreement form. Read the form instructions, then select Download Mail-in Form. Complete both pages of this form, have it notarized, and mail to the address listed below. An approval email will be sent once the ESA form is approved. After receiving the approval email, log into the ePermitting portal. Set up security questions by clicking on the account name in the top navigation bar and then clicking on Manage Identifying Questions and Answers. Select five security questions and provide an answer for each. Be sure to remember the selections and responses. When submitting forms, the submitter will be asked one or more of these questions, and the responses must match in order to verify the submitter's identity and complete the submission. To complete the submission process, please follow these instructions. Anyone can start and prepare a submission, for example, a contractor, a consultant, staff. To access forms in the ePermitting portal, log into the portal, then click on Form Finder and search for the form to complete. Please note that forms approved for electronic signatures will have electronic signature listed in front of the form name. For example, Electronic Signature CWB NOI form. Click on the form link, read the instructions carefully, and click on Begin Form Entry. Click on Save Progress at any time to save the work. Once all information is entered and reviewed, a certification statement will be presented, as well as the option to certify and submit the form. It is important to note that only the application submitter can certify and submit forms. Information regarding who may be the application submitter will be provided later. Here's an example on how to prepare a submission. Log into the portal, select Form Finder, and search for the form. The electronic signature CWB NOI form is used for this example. Read the instructions carefully. Click Begin Form Entry when ready. Complete the Processing Info section. Information about applicable project types is not required. Provide all required information.
For questions that need a file attachment, attach a file by either clicking on Choose File or by dragging a file to the Drop Files icon. For sections where multiple sets of data can be entered, select Duplicate or Add New to add additional information. After entering all information, review the submission in the Review section. Any section that is missing required information will be shown in red on the left in the Sections list. Progress can be saved at any time by clicking on Save Progress on the top right, or by clicking on Save and Exit in the Certify and Submit section. To find submissions again, log into the e-permitting portal and select the History tab from the top menu to view the submissions list. Find the submission and select the magnifying glass icon. To certify and submit, please follow these instructions. So who certifies and submits the form? Anyone can start a submission, but the certifying person identified in the Notice of Intent must be the one to certify and submit the initial NOI. Please note that other types of submissions may have other signatory requirements. Please be sure to read all form instructions prior to submission. Submissions electronically signed by the incorrect individual will be sent back to the applicant for revision and resubmission. Share access to allow multiple application preparers to complete the submission, then provide access to the certifying person to certify and submit. This feature is very useful for large organizations where the submitter is not the one preparing the submission. To share access to a submission, log into the e-permitting portal and select the History tab from the top menu to view the submissions list. Find the submission and select the magnifying glass icon. Click on Share With. Enter the email address of the user to be given access. Select Can Manage Access to Submission to give the selected user the ability to give other users access to the submission. Click Add to add the selected user. If the application preparer is not the application submitter, make sure to give the submitter access to the submission. When all information is entered, Select the Certify and Submit section from the Sections list to the left. Complete the Submission Agreements and Submission Signature. Select Submit Form. The form is now submitted. Complete the payment in order to begin processing of the submission. Payment online, by mail, or with a bill for collection are allowed. To view the status of the submission, log into the e-permitting portal and select the History tab from the top menu. This will show the submissions list. All submissions associated with the e-permitting portal account will be shown here. Submission statuses will also be shown, for example, draft, submitted, rescinded. CWB will begin processing the submission once it is fully submitted through the e-permitting portal 
and once payment is received. Please note that for submissions that require payment, CWB will not begin processing the submission until an online payment is made, a physical check is received, or a journal voucher number is received. Notification of approval and all necessary revisions will be through the e-permitting portal system and the email provided for your e-permitting portal system account. Unless otherwise required, revisions and resubmissions do not impose additional filing fees. Mahalo for watching. For additional resources, visit the Clean Water Branch website at the address listed below, or contact the Clean Water Branch at the email listed below, or call 808 586-4309. This concludes the electronic signature tutorial video.